Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are into ethical hacking, penetration testing, or just love tinkering with powerful Linux distributions, I got some exciting news for you today. Offensive Security has just dropped the latest version of Kali Linux. That's version 2025.4. This is the fourth and final update for the year. And it's packed with some solid improvements that make it even better for security pros and enthusiasts alike. In this video, I'll break down what's new, why it matters, and how you can get your hands on it. So, let's dive in. First off, let's talk about the desktop environments, because that's where a lot of visible changes are happening. Kali Linux 2025.4 sticks with the XFCE as the default desktop but it's gotten a nice upgrade. Now, you can easily switch up color themes for icons, windows, and even the overall look through the appearance settings. This means more customization without diving into config files, which is super handy if you want your setup to match your vibe. If you are more of a GNOME fan, you will be happy to know it's been bumped up to version 49. This update brings a cleaner, more organized app grid that groups Kali's tools into folders, making it easier to find what you need quickly. They have also swapped out the old video player for something called Showtime, which is more modern and efficient. Plus, there is a new keyboard shortcut, which is Ctrl plus Alt plus T, or Super plus T, to pop open a terminal in a flash. And here is a big one. GNOME now runs exclusively on Wayland, ditching X11 for better performance and security. If you're running Kali in a virtual machine, like VirtualBox, QMU, or VMware, you'll appreciate the full support for guest tools under Wayland. That means seamless clipboard sharing and automatic window resizing. So, no more glitches. And for those who prefer KDE Plasma, it's now at version 6.5. This brings features like smarter window tiling for multitasking and an improved screenshot tool with built-in editing, quick access to your clipboard history, and enhanced search in KRunner that handles fuzzy matching. It's all about making your workflow smoother and more productive. Beyond the desktops, Kali Linux 2025.4 adds three fresh tools your arsenal. There is BPF Linker, which is a straightforward linker for BPF programs. Great for low-level kernel work. Then we got Evil WinRAM PY, a Python tool that lets you run commands on remote Windows systems over WinRM, which is perfect for penetration in mixed environments. And Hexstrike-AI, which sets up an MCP server where AI agents can independently execute tools. Sounds futuristic and could be a game changer for automated workflows. Oh, and if you're feeling festive, check out the new Halloween mode for XFCE. Just fire up the terminal and run a simple command to transform your desktop into a spooky theme. It's a fun little easter egg that adds some personality. And for mobile hackers, Kali Net Hunter has some updates too. It now supports Android 16 on devices like the Samsung Galaxy S10 series running Lineage OS 23, along with the better terminal features, an updated Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3 interface with preview options, and tweaks to the kernel install process. If you're into wireless attacks or can bust tinkering, this keeps things current. Under the hood, the kernel's been updated to 6.16 for better hardware compatibility and stability. And for those upgrading from an older version, the process is straightforward. No major breaking changes here. So how do you get Kali Linux 2025.4? Head over to the official website at kali.org and grab it in whatever flavor suits you. 64-bit for desktops, ARM for embedded devices, pre-built virtual machines, cloud images, 
WSL for Windows users, or even mobile editions. Note that the live ISO is now only available via BitTorrent because it's gotten bigger, over like 5 GB of size. But other images like the installer are still direct downloads. If you're already running Kali, just open a terminal and run sudo app update and sudo app full upgrade to pull in all the new goodies. That's the rundown on Kali Linux 2025.4. A solid release focused on usability, performance, and keeping your toolkit sharp. If you're new to Kali, Remember, it's designed for ethical use only. So always stay on the right side of the law. What do you think of these updates? Drop a comment below, like if this helped, and subscribe for more tech deep dives. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.